Shalom. Right, Shalom, Shalom. With the Jim Mess Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another week of props. But prior to getting started, as we always do, we like to give infinite honors and prayers to I want by Shim, Yahweh Shah, by Shim Rakaka Dash. Aquas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to the Aquas that's pushing the truth and sincerity. All right. And all you brothers that clean uh, that cleaves uh, to the body. And we're just gonna go, you know, just touch on a prophecy concerning the gathering of Israel. I write those foreigners, you know, and because control the popular belief is a great gathering that have occurred. The Lord have have seek is seeking out his men. I write those that's part of the stock of Israel. He's seeking them out from the north, the east, the west. I write these remote islands, different places. All right, and that's a pivotal part of prophecy. Okay, what our people have to understand, that was a confusion of face out here, man. Give me um Daniel, uh not with that's nine and seven. And you can you we don't get to that 28, you know. No, I'm willing, you know, yeah. I, I just want to get to that Daniel 9 and 7 real quick. I got it. Because there's a confusion of face out here. A lot of our people don't really understand, all right, that the skin don't determine your nationality, man. All right, it's the spirit. And that's why a lot of these Christians and different people, they don't understand the Bible, man. They don't understand people. They don't understand the Lord, all right, because they got what they have to need, what, what, what people need to know, all right, the Lord. It's unorthodox, man. He's left field. The way that he do things is not accustomed to the way we see things. All right? Go ahead, brother. Uh, and that confusion of face goes into being, they, they have a, a confused look on their face, so to speak, because they don't understand who they are. Yeah. Like, they're just confused out here thinking they're Black, Native American, yeah. Mexican, and even the ones that look like Israelite foreigners. Oh, I'm a, I'm a German. I'm a German white man. <laughs> That's a... I mean, that's a spirit that's on these people that have their eyes covered, man. So yet their eyes are open. They're looking at, it's like they're looking at a, a, a you know, a, 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 a vision of something, man. That's not even them. All right? It's, 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 it, uh, what they imagine in their minds, man, is not contrary to what's, uh, what's surreal in life, man. All right? Go ahead. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 7. Oh, Lord. Right. Said that too. That the, that confusion of face, also being ashamed. Come, you know? Yeah, come, come, come. Yep. Break down the word. I think it's a. I think it was a. Faith we're about to go. I'm going to go into the word. Yeah. Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. But this is Daniel. Yeah. Because our people is living amongst the heathen, man. And, and when you live amongst the heathen, you are ashamed people, man. You are forgotten, displaced people, man. Ultimately, but that's what the confusion means. All right, ashamed. But in this aspect, I'm speaking of literally skin color, all right, you know, different things of that nature. But that means you're ashamed because you're with a nation, all right? You're watching after a nation that can't save you, all right? They have you in a, in a, in a between 22 and have you forgetting what's your nationality. That's why it makes you what? An upset. All right, go ahead. It's Daniel chapter 9, verse 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. Right, because again, why it says righteousness belongeth to the Lord? Because once you're in the state of that confusion of face, you're naked. All right, you're ashamed. You can found it. That's why when people take up on the customs of the heathen, that's why the Lord said, look, their customs are vain. All right, learn not the ways of the heathen, man. All right, it ain't, again, it ain't, it ain't just, it's, it's the spiritual part of the confusion in the face is the ashamedness, man. All right, that we're ashamed with, with, with the way we have, the things that we have done, man, that have been outside of our actual way. All right, the righteousness, the law, statutes, and commandments. We have learned the ways of the heathen, man. Go ahead. You got it. You got it. Go ahead. It's uh, the word confusion. Strong's H 1322. For shot, it says a shameful thing. Yeah. Shame, the feeling and, and the condition as well as its cause. Right. And what, again, that shameful thing have led us into be, into be what? Which is, this is a spiritual topic. It have led us to be Gentiles. You see? And what is a Gentile? Which, you know, what? Hey, brother. Hey, 
brother, what's a Gentile? Gentile is someone who, how can I say it? They're not following the law, statutes, and commandments. They, they are. Yeah, they're not following the law, statutes, and commandments. I'm gonna give you credit for that, man. All right. What's the way? Because it says a, a Gentile is 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 an Israelite foreigner, man. Go ahead. Yeah. It says shame, shameful thing. The feeling oh, of it's, it's Gentiles too. He, he said it. Two type of Gentiles. What's the two type of Gentiles? Two type of Gentiles. Yeah, they got the Gentiles, the heathen Gentiles, and they got the Israelite foreigner. Which is a which is a different man. Like, yeah, yeah. God, that's what that. Yeah, it's two different types. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It says, shame, the feeling and condition, as well as its cause, by implication, an idol. Yeah, an idol, which is good. That's perfect, right? Yeah. And how many our people have been, give me Psalms 97 and 9. Baba Gashat, don't, don't move. Read, I'm going to read. I'm going to have you read that again. Psalms 97 and 9. Baba Gashat. And a lot of our, the main majority, of two-thirds of Israel, is still their idol worship, meaning which by default it, it makes them ashamed. All right, let's get this out covered. Go ahead. I did Psalms 97, verse 9. But thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Yep, thou yeah. may talk before above all God. What? What? You see, you see, yeah. Seven. Nine, seven, seven. My bad. I did Psalms 97, verse 7. Confounded. Be all they that serve graven image. But confounded be all they that serve graven image. First of all, who can serve graven images according to the law? Really, Israel. All the other nations that serve graven images, it don't matter because they weren't given a they're supposed to do that. That's why we don't be uh we don't be uh don't we we don't be uh uh, uh, we'll mong at the heathen pretty much, man, because they they supposed to do it. Go ahead. They boast themselves of idols, worship yeah. him, or ye God. They boast themselves of, of, of idols, and the mass majority of our people, the mass majority of our people, boasting their idols. They get chains with with so called chisel red bullshit, iced out Jesus pieces. All right, they boast themselves for the idols that they believe in, man. All right. And the idol is nothing more than an image. When you take Michael Jordan, all right, Kobe idolized Michael Jordan because he took the image of him. He walked like him. He stuck his tongue out like him. All right. He did the turn around fan away like him. That's number taken up on the what? The way of it. That's why I speak mm. the image of the beast. All right. Meaning what? You're going with the way and the customs of what it is. So mm. it's. All right, you have to accept, accept transgenderism or different things. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna be with that, man. All right, even if you don't do it, if you don't, what you permit, you promote. So you're still a promoter of it. And the law, like, no, either you're against wickedness or, or you're for it. That's it, man. Go ahead. Verse eight. Zanya heard and was glad. All right, go ahead. Zanya heard and was glad. And the dog. Seven. And then you, you're right. Read again, bro. Right, it's a Psalm 97 verse 7. Yep. Confounded be all that serve graven image yep. that boast themselves of idols, worship him, all ye gods. That boast themselves in their idols, man. Our people love Christmas, man. They love, no, I'm talking about they get the ugly sweater like they always, always talk about, man. All right. This by default makes our people in the Gentile state of mind, man. All right. And just to know that. They call it the costumes and shit. Got the costumes. That's bullshit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Even when we get ready to embark down here, migrant season, niggas gonna be with that. They're gonna dress up. Put it, put it, yep. The yellow cup with a yellow yeah, green, green, green and purple. purple. Yeah. Now what to get down. King that's idol worshiping. That's idol worshiping, yeah. I like the uh elder Big Ever said it's in it's in the it's in the season of uh feast of Bacchus, man. That's why they, they put that the first float of endemia is what the bull. Oh, come. 
Oh, yeah. Same thing with the bull back in ancient Rome. Even what the fuck? The Rex Parade. The Rex Parade is nothing more than like it looked like the, the Romans. Roman kind. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind. Yeah, all the Edomites and this is where they eat the shit. Yeah, kind. Kind. Well, yeah, and and again, these are the things that make you a Gentile. I want people wonder how. Why you how wish I was going to the Gentiles? Give me the disperse him. Uh got it. That was dispersed. Where, where did he go? Got, got it. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad, but yeah. I kind of hear it. Go ahead. Just, just hold that down. Go ahead. But shot, it says the shameful thing, shame, the feeling and condition, as well as its cause. Can everybody go back and look? What? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all just come up. You mean walking in between us? Nah, man. They can get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gee, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It says, shame, the feeling and condition, as well as its cause by implication and idol. I got a quick precept to back that up. Yeah, come on, go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles right. carried away unto these dumb idols. Well, where? Isn't that like past tense? <laughs> and then again, were doesn't mean that's what you are. That's what something you was in the acting in or you was a part of, all right? It's a condition. And again, our people don't understand why when we say y'all are Gentiles, man, because y'all have to first and foremost understand what is a Gentile, all right? What is a, a Gentile that's not, a, not a, that's not an Israelite font, the heathen Gentile, all right? Because again, that's two different types of Gentiles in the scriptures. And you have to know the context in which you're speaking when I've been speaking about it, man. Because uh. Paul not all, uh, uh, these particular men who wrote, they all they wasn't always talking about uh, uh, Israelite foreigners. Sometimes they were talking about the Gentiles, the actual Gentiles, all right? And then there was, you know, time talking about the Israelite foreigners. Maybe more more or less he was speaking to our I mean, people than them. You mean he was talking about the actual heathen? The actual heathen, the heathen Gentiles. Yeah. The heathen nation. The nation. Yeah. they are Gentiles. Yeah. Greeks too, right? Grecians and Greeks. But they, they, they heathens. I mean, you said one, you the one Jew no Greek. That Jew no Greek. Yeah. 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 That's what I want to know. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. They were called Helen. Helen and Yeah. We gonna get it. We gonna get it. We gonna get it. Gonna get it. Okay. Even uh, Timothy. What that's even citizenship. I'm a I'm a Jew from Tosh. Yeah, I'm a wrong like I'm basically like I'm a Roman from Tosh's like, you know what I'm saying? Just the you know he which he wasn't, you know. Cause he was from cleaning from the stock of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Right? But yeah, 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 Roman citizenship, which he that's what he came up, you know. Which we could bring that out too as well. Because again, like he said, it's neither Jew nor Greek, but Jews and Greeks he was talking about it was Israelites who, who matter of fact, when it said as neither Jew nor Greek, what it meant by that Jew nor Greek? You, you brother, not a camera. Let's stay it again. Bring the scripture. Or let him read the scripture. See if yeah. test y'all brothers a little bit and see if y'all yeah. get it. Because again, our people don't understand this scripture that's read. They believe that it's talking about all uh you know at that time that nation of people and the Jews meaning that they was the same. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm my bad. I, I kind of explained it thoroughly or clearly, but go ahead and read it, bro. I'm gonna explain it more uh thoroughly. It's uh, Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Yeah, read, read, read up, maybe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, read 26. Start at 26. As uh, Galatians 3 and 26. For ye are all the children of the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. For as many of you as have been baptized into Yahweh Shah have put on Yahweh Shah. All right, come, 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 go ahead. 
there is there is e neither Jew nor Greek. And that's why when people get mixed up at because it say, yeah, all children. Read 26 and say, yeah, all children in the Mashiach and was shy, right? So now it, the next scripture say, read it. The next scripture, where, where you were just reading at? Uh -oh. Verse 27. For as many of you have as have been baptized into Yahweh Shai have put on Yahweh Shai. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Yahweh Shai. What makes you one is that baptism. And you got to understand the baptism also. Who was able to get baptized? The spiritual baptizing. Because they'll say, oh, oh, see, you just go get baptized, dunk in the water. And now, yeah, you could be a Jew, you could be a Greek, you could be anything. That's not so though, all right? You got to understand who and what Paul, first of all, when you go to uh, uh, Galatians 1 and 1, it tell you, oh, you foolish Galatians or whatever, and who Paul was writing to, man. Who was in Galatia? Israelites. Which, Israelites, all right? So when he speaks right there, you still got to understand the context in which it's saying Jew nor Greek, which, get that word. You got to mind if I get it one, please. Yeah, go ahead. This is Matthew 10, verse 5. Yep. This is going to be Yahweh Shai speaking. The twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of Samarit of the Samaritans into ye not. But listen to this, but rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. When you lost, you you confounded. You understand? You confused. Right. When you lost, what if you see a lost person walking out here right now? All right. And they, you know, they, they, there's a concern. Come, they start to get concerned. When they get concerned, there's a look on their face like, my mama was over here. I don't, you know, I, I ain't from here. I don't know how to get back home. I don't know nobody or nothing. And that's why you become like an outcast, all right? You be outcast in, in, in a sense, which makes you a Gentile. But it says, but rather go, go, go not into the what? Where are the Gentiles? Now remember, Paul said we was once Gentiles led away, right? So what it's saying, not to go to our people, uh, go to our people, whatnot. So you got to know what's going on here. Go ahead. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Sheep of the house of Israel. So it still was referring to the, to the people of Israel, though yet they was lost or mingled. All right? Uh, that's a scripture in Hosea. Do you know what it is that kind of, uh, that, that represents a what, huh? No. Is a, is a particular scripture that can go right with this that shows our people was Hosea. Was, was Hosea. Hosea. I say Hosea. Right? I think he did. I think he thought of Isaiah. I think he may have heard Isaiah. Hosea. 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 One in ten. One in ten. That said that we will remember our people in this land. Now is another one that shows that our people was pretty much go with this Matthew one and five. And if brother know it, and Hosea, and the young brothers know it. No, Hosea. That go with that Matthew 5 that he just read, but rather go to the lost sheep and why our people was lost. I'm gonna give it to y'all. Hold it. You got it? Read it. Go ahead. Hosea chapter 8, verse 8. For to be on that, right? You know what that is? You know, when he read it, when he read it, y'all brothers know what that is, that Hosea 8 and 8. You're going to know because you go gonna know it. Read it, I. Right? <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, Israel is swallowed up. He did what? Swallowed up. So Israel, by Israel being swallowed up, that made them what? Lost sheep. Go ahead. Shall they be among the Gentiles? Among the who? The Gentiles. It says, go not in the way, all right, of the Gentiles. Okay? Into thee not, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because why? Why was they going around people who wasn't? within the fold, but they still had to go to them. But look for the lost sheep. You got to understand that we're going to get that diaspora next, if I can say real quick. And what Yahawashai, what Yahawashai referred to as the good shepherd, and a shepherd watches over the sheep, and yep. when one gets away, what? The shepherd goes and get it. Go and get it. it. That's the word. That's the, That's word. the shepherds yep. shepherding them in with the word. That's it. Back into the fold. That's it. That's why when it said going to them, meaning what? When you go to them, preach the word, because the word will pull them out. We don't go in there and try to manhandle Jake. That's why Jake want us, man, go in the projects. Go where they selling dope at. For what? For what? This word, this word goes far. It goes through YouTube everywhere. Jake might be looking for big booted girls and 
one of uh, one of the videos might come across. You might see one of these brothers, brothers from Cali, you know, Cali, different places might arise and Jake might click on this. All right. So you gotta have faith that the word is gonna gravitate to the people and pull them out. That's all it meant when it says go to those people. It means to what? Send the word for it, man. Go ahead. The Lord, the Lord gonna pretty much get a message. Thing with you in a way, he gonna set up the way you run across one of the prophets. He gonna fish you out. That's right. Like the brother said, you can be on his way to work. You know, yeah. this brother here, he was across the street, bringing it out. You know, starting off bringing it out, man. You know, you got brothers and passing the call on the internet, several ways, man. But it all all the roads lead to one place. Yeah. And, and, and Whole food and shout out to the brother you're up. He saw a brother that be that was doing that do that does the work in the camp. He said he saw him at Whole Food and said, Hey, hey, you, you the one that be saying your whole bunch of with sugar like a duck, right? And that brother in the camp pushing right now with the spirit on him, <laughs> you know. He he met him in soul in, in, in uh, Whole Food, and I think he had his sprinkles on. <laughs> but shout out to the brother, he he he, he get it now, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, because he said, Hey, hey. Uh, I, I, look, I got my fringes on right now, like you know. But hey, he was in the spirit, though, sin sincerely. Just, you know, we get it, you know. But go ahead. Yeah. So, Israel, Hosea 8 and 8. Israel is swallowed up, and now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein there is no pleasure. You don't, you don't know that precept, huh? Okay, yeah. So, that's the one I was looking for. So, I just threw that out there to see, like, brother should know it, you know. But hey, brother's got to be on it because again. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times, this is one of the, the main things Christians struggle with. They don't know how to, they don't know how to uh extrapolate the children of Israel from the Gentiles. They got them all mixed in together from the heathen Gentiles. They don't know how to extrapolate the Israelite foreigners. All right, because first of all, they don't even know what the Jew or the Greek is. They don't, they don't know. They just think everybody's just supposed to be with everybody, man. But that's not so. You think you got the word Greek? Get it? Destroy G sixteen seventy two Helen 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 a Greek neither by nationality rather a native of the mainland or of the Greek island and colony. Right. Yes, Hellenized. So it says neither a Greek by nationality, because our people every time we've been in captivity, our people been under the oppressor or in 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 the in the uh in the confinements of the oppressor in the other nation. Because according to Deuteronomy 28, I know you're still holding that precept, but according to Deuteronomy 28, this was a uh, a prophecy that would happen to our people. Get it? Where it says, uh, you know, yeah. it's got, you know, yeah. 64. This is a prophecy, man. This is how we end up amongst the heathen, bro. All right? Go ahead. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Yeah. <laughs> and Yahweh shall scatter thee among all the people. Yeah. From the one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone yeah that's why we'll peep into that that cobble worship all right <laughs> jake into all kind of shit, man jake throwing rock kissing the rock you know uh kevin gates is fucking <laughs> man you're an israelite man what are you doing man this man ain't even speaking uh what it is he be speaking <laughs> the Arabic say that he ain't even speaking the right thing. But Jake don't know no better. Jake, like, you hear him speaking the Arabic? Man? You know, they say he's not even speaking it, man. Hey, Kayal, what, what does that wooden stone uh, mean? What's yeah. it talking about? More specific. What does the wood symbolize and what does the stone symbolize? Con. Well, the wood symbolizes Christianity, but the crucifix made out of wood and the stone, the top, which the copper stone, Islam. The two, the, the, the two main, the two main religions Jake is really into. I mean, he's either a Christian, Christian or a, a Muslim. All uh, Muslim. How you go? Muslim. Uh, all that shit really goes back to the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Even like I say, in order for you to. Come on, he, he, through through development and growth, he learns to learn to be able to read the read the the, uh, 
the Quran to know what you're up against, you know, to know what your inner, how they thinking and what they what they what their points that they're trying to give, give against you. But one thing when we read the read the Quran, you'll see it's a book of Miriam, which is Mary. They they saying Mary. You'll see that they're talking to their their whole thing is uh uh was basically woman worship, man. It goes back to the Roman Catholic Church. Why do you? Why are you Arab? Uh, Arab uh, has a Quran. Why do you uh, have a book of Miriam? Why? What does that have to do with anything? They say God. Jake's used to rule the Roman Catholic Church. They used to the tactic that Jake set up uh, Islam was to take them back to Holy Land before the the, the, the what is the, the war the. the who say it was, man? They came over with the, the, the plan that blew up and they got their face and and were in a fight to try to take back the land. Uh, yeah, I was trying to cut that very worship spirit. Oh, yeah, that, that bug out you, like, woman. It's, it's like, this is the woman, the path that you know, it's like, now oh, blessed is he that hear the word, man, and through the scripture. So, the scriptures yeah. cut the whole book of Mary. Man. That's that's madness. Oh, um, yeah, in the Lord. That big mama spirit. Hey, that 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 weirdo that came out by camp last night. What the woman's not important. Yeah, yeah. Woman worship. Nigga, what are they? 16, 19. Woman for that. Y'all be talking about the women, but really the most high be loving the woman more than the man. Exactly. <laughs> drink up water, man. Drink up bad water. He wants to drink something with a little more uh yellow six in it. Yeah. He might want be a woman. When you yeah. worship him, you might want be. I mean, that's an idol. Ain't that so idol? That's what happened in Rome when they started equipment. They started chopping their rocks. Yeah, that's see going on to the makeup <laughs> on island. Island in bed, young boy. Oh, I just like makeup. What you mean, man? That's that's what they use for so dead they bodies, bodies, man. Witchcraft, too, man. That's witchcraft, too, man. All right? But Jay, guess what? Jay going to get pigeon toe and put makeup on. All right? They going to be like that. Get it. Get it. They going to be walking like that through the whole city. Like this. Yeah? <laughs> and 98 degree weather, man. <laughs> yeah, with a hoodie on. Black hoodie. Damn. And that's Jay, man. And... And the Lord cut that Muslim worship and shit too. Like we, the Lord ain't with that either, man. We not no Muslim, all right? I was gonna say, I see the, I see the fucking Arab crazy. I don't want to come with the, with the fucking uh, feature in his head. He looking crazy. Yeah, the Lord ain't there. We ain't dealing with that, man. We ain't no Muslim. Man. Ain't no what is Salama? Assalamualaikum, man. Assalamualaikum, salam, man. Space. I serve. Are you well? I serve Allah. What Allah mean? All right. They don't know that. Actually, what Quran means? In the Jeopardy coming on. Everybody with the ask that they just looking around. Ain't that your Bible? Shit. They say they they say in Islam that uh that the Allah has has uh, ninety to ninety nine names. Yeah. And our Lord, there's only one name according to the scriptures. And Acts 12, man. Well, but we must be saved. The Lord don't got our Lord don't have many names. Hey, now I, he can you guys titles, all right. But even the Lord said that he's not moved by uh flattering titles because it's all about his name, man. All right. The Lord name is he, his name. He's uh uh and the Lord has a name and, and his son has a name, man. And we got a name, all right. What is this man? If thou can't tell. Can tell, yeah, man. Proverbs 30 and 4. See, we the Lord ain't ain't got things complicated and all over the place for us, man. All right. He got it to where his children can serve him, man. But when you get with the Gentiles and you be in other places, all right, you just forget completely, you forget your whole heritage, man. Hey, because Edomite, they're into setting up a payment. They're into change, change, change. I think every 10 for the year they give you something. Every 10 fucking years, they give you so-called Negro new name. Dang, colors. Colors. Thanks. Niggas. Niggas. It's a big change, man. Yeah, right, bro. I think it's BIPOC now. An acronym is like something people of color. Yeah. Like, like indigenous. Was, black indigenous we're people of color. We're Edos now. That's horrible. Yeah. American descendants of slaves. We're Edos. 
Damn. Total madness, man. Now you could now you dash something on the thing when they say what's your ethnicity? You just put nothing right there. You just, you can just check the box like I'm unsure right now, man. Other. I'm other. I'm other. What is that, man? We have always known who we were, even in this captivity. This is why it's the worst captivity. Israel, well, now Israel have remembered themselves, but the mass majority of our people still don't know who they are. Even though this, uh, the Lord have put his name back in the earth, our identity back in earth. You know, it's billions of dodo heads that don't know who we are. All right? Don't care to know. All right? They don't have no respect unto themselves, unto their maker. All right, they don't have no respect into nothing, man. All right, that's why they love being mingled amongst the Gentiles and just remaining the Gentiles. Huh? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Story. That's what it is. Is the book of Brother Sword? You still hold it? I gotta get them brothers free self. Go ahead. I gotta get you got a free self. Yeah, I got. Let me let me, let me get them brothers free self. So we can free self. Go ahead. Break break all the details. Yeah, uh, we, the, you know, the idol worship and the good stuff. We, we shooting on that today, bro. Acts 13 and 47. Yeah. For so, so have the most high commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation until the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the most high. As many as were ordained to eternal life believe. You got it. That goes to show you he wasn't talking to like the heathen type of Gentiles. You know, he talked about the Israelites. You know, they heard the word and were glad. They knew they could be saved in the hour does, you know. Just said the word, you know. Right. And show up here, but people on the camera. So he was now talking to fucking Edomites and Poor bike and all this, saying, Oh, well, this a whole big family, you know, we all the one. woman at the well. Yeah. Hey, tell her, Hey, you, 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 you can't drink of this water yeah. and become a time where you can't even worship in this mountain. Yeah. <laughs> right. We are family type of fear, you know, yeah. how that song goes. It's all about Israel. Yeah, we never went to get the other nations, man. Even if our nation was mingled in that, man, the scriptures never speak about. Where the Lord called the other nations back into repentance because they can't even get repentance, man. None of the other nations. Now I know he specifically speak about Esau getting repentance. All right. I mean, not being not giving repent. He was the only one of the other nations not repent because even after the thousand years, the heathens gonna get to go to their the other nation gonna get to go to their land, but they're gonna still have to worship us. All right, they're gonna still have to keep the laws. But that's like a little bit, that ain't even a little bit of repentance. That's just how the Lord had it set up, all right? But at the end of the day, these nations can't get no repentance from our Lord, man. All right? Y'all was made to serve, and y'all gonna serve. That's it. All right? It ain't no in-between with that. The Lord don't teach nothing else. So any kind of doctrine somebody on the audience, he gonna make it, and we gonna be hand-in-hand hand with the heathens? No. All right? That's not even a possibility. It ain't a small possibility. All right? That ain't nowhere in the scriptures, man. All right, the heathens was made to serve. Period. All right. What's good? Let's go, brother. Oh, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Go ahead. <laughs> That's somebody who's ashamed. Yeah. The confusion. Yeah. Hold names with them. You were done with church? They got on a hood. I put the camouflage and everything, but they hold the No hand doing in vain. And that light. Oh, uh, that light, that light represent like Paul, Paul, uh, which, you know, really before Paul, Peter was the first to go kind of to the Gentiles or whatever, but now we kind of really look, but the, the, uh, when Paul, when Yahawashah, uh, dealt with Paul, man, to get that to go to the Gentiles, man, and get that, that, uh, get that, get that wisdom on that, man, that's, that's symbolic, man, that's spiritual, all right, because we all were Gentiles, man. Oh, they went to Southern Northern? No, they no not go forward to them. They broke their uncircumcision. Kind of uncircumcision. Yeah, the uncircumcision. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Which, again, even the ones who were circumcised, they was kind of, they weren't all the way fully circumcised, man. Yeah, because they, yeah. they were following the commandments, but they weren't following your house. Right? But they was up, right. So that was a light. 
that light, which really was that word, man. All right, which what was what was what the word? What's your else your how shot? Being in what your how shot is was with those men, man. All right, going amongst our people, because even the, they got the ones that are circumcised who went fully circumcised, man. All right, they was keeping the law, Pharisees, you know, Sadducees, because they had different sects of Pharisees and Pharisees. One would just think, oh, the Pharisees, they just wicked it off now, nah, man. That wasn't the case. All of them wasn't wicked. They, all y'all wasn't wicked, man. All right, they all wasn't wicked. Nicodemus. Nicodemus, right. he was righteous. He just didn't know, you know, Finally, he had to get Yahweh I had to what? Give him the, the knowledge all the way. Hey, we, so, we was, where's a testament of that? You know, go ahead. Even those, even those Pharisees that believed, but they still thought the Gentiles should be circumcised. So circumcised, they, they right. made an issue out of it. So right. then, then Paul had to come and, and send and, and get that clarified. Yeah. And they went to the elders and they dealt with that, man. All right, they, at they, the they, top. They're a, they're a big, yeah, so that's big. X 20. I told the elders, it's like 20. We gonna get it. Oh, I had to be called in, man. Yeah. So, oh, that's not Okay. Peter, yeah, Peter. Yeah. We're gonna get it because Peter, I think even Peter brought up the number one, the number one, the, the son of the Gentile group. <laughs> that's right. Yep. Yep. He had to go to, and again, that's that was like, Cause Cornelius and this whole house got saved, man. That's that's symbolic, all right. That whole Cornelius thing, and and, and, and y'all can not have that's a big controversy amongst what our people. Man. Joe, they think Joe is is an Edomite, man. He not no Gentile, cause he was one of the richest men in the East, and then at that time in the East, they look at like that's an Edomite stuff, all right. Joe, but Edomite, he was very separate. Y'all see him? He's a priest. You got Job, you got Cornelius, you got even uh, Quaitch with uh, Doe. What's Doe? What's that guy named Doe? Doe. I brought this out in the conference house, so y'all should know. You know, he don't know. Doe, Doe, one. Hi, I'm the one that's who gets to go to you last if they don't get it. So, Doe again? Doe. Doe. You know, Doeg wasn't the Edomite. Was an Assyrian? Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which doesn't, um, uh, that's a clerical error, man. Right? Yeah, but you know, yeah. When it says, y'all should not afford Edomite, what they're talking about? Okay, say one more time, brother. Edomite. Yeah. Oh, they try to make it say, thou shall not hate an Edomite. What is it? Uh, an Assyrian, because they like our, our kinsfolk, like our brothers, right? That is woman from kind. It's your coat, you know. But yeah, make it up. But just like they can see Italian, up the Italian man for Canadians and make it out of. Oh, that's the white people. Just like this brother brought out Greek. I don't think a nigga know it's white Greeks. It's all they know. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's all they knew, man. See the Romans. Greece, they're thinking of uh, the nigga Thor. You know how Thor looks? Yeah. Yeah. It scrambles their mind. It was Jinx, it was uh, a Roman Empire. Right. Because he's laughing so that niggas only towards in Africa. That's all they played. Never left Africa. That's it, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. Zeus and Hercules. I'm a good characters. But Israelites, man. Yeah. But we 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 put them in a costume. Yeah, get them out of costume. Yeah. Yeah, they did. People treat these superheroes today like that. What they do? They go to the Comic Con and dress up. You got people getting surgery to look like the the characters. Even even Jinx, like my brother James, you go to New York, well, thirty foot of Broadway with an a big ass sign with this nigga. But he straight see. And they got They make them. We're the man. We're the salt of the earth, man. Yeah, we're the giants. What he's speaking about. 
as those giants, man. Which was which was the, like he said, a mighty man, man. Big old men that was tallest builders and all that, man. All right. women the size of man, it's about the Nephilim. 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 Giants were for his life, man. All in there. The biggest sons of God, man. They fell to that. They fell to that estate, man. That 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 estate, like uh, which, which we're in, man. That's it. Hey, and if you go into the Josephus, it says Doeg was an Assyrian. Like they, yeah, they, they get said, clear. Yeah, they get straight to the point. Of Josephus, that's right. And with the. It would, when you go into that word Edomite, where it says thou shalt not a form Edomite, it says it's a clerical error because how they wrote Edomites and, and uh, Assyrian kind to the bottom, if you write it just like a, a little bit longer, it, it makes the whole word something else. So it's a clerical error. So, anyway, it said uh, diaphragm and unfruitful. Yeah, that's right. Bring out that precept. He was holding something up. All right, go ahead, but we're gonna try to free something. I'm, I'm gonna jump to yours. Why you look for that? Um, to speak about Abraham, I was born. You know, what is that when it's Abraham? What I was saying, it's not funny. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, I'm gonna lie on that too. Great 21. Thank the servant of Yahweh. Tell the Lord Yahweh Shah of Hashiach, which are scattered abroad. Yeah, the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Which, when you get down here, this is the 12 tribes of Israel, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi being the Southern Kingdom, all right, and the rest on down is the Northern Kingdom, man, all right. I got it. Which they both was in, they were separated too, man. But now they was brought, we was brought back together in a land where we will remember ourselves, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Now, this is. Uh, I got it. Oh, my boy, you gotta look for it. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy twenty-six. I'll start at verse four. And yep. the priest shall take the basket out of thine hand and Come set on. it down before the altar of Yahweh thy power. Yep. And thou shalt speak and say before Yahweh thy power, a Syrian ready to perish was my father. And he went down into Egypt and sojourned there with a few and became there a nation, great, mighty, and popular. That is, boy, you got it. Hey. And we know that Syrian is talking about, it's talking about a, uh, a, a Jacob and his 12 sons and, and their sons and daughters going down into the land of Egypt and they became a great nation there. Hey, beginning with Joseph, who became just second to the Pharaoh at that time. Yeah. And, and and Jacob prospered for, for 30 good years. And then for that rest of that 400 years, they had Pharaohs that did not know of Joseph or uh, his brothers and their father. So they right. just started treat, putting them into that hardcore slavery. Yeah. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph Egyptian name was Emotep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like from the mummy. Yeah. That was that was his Egyptian name. If you remember that he said Emotep, Emotep, he was a hey, he was a, uh, basically just like Joseph was. That was Joseph. He was a uh, a man very skilled, a master of a master of many skills, man. Right. All right. Architect. See, they built the they built the uh the pyramid, which was Jake's. Then it came over the concept. Of uh the silos to hold the coin for the uh for the uh the person that was coming, man. Long headed ass, skinny head, fucking Egyptian couldn't think of that, man. Hey, they that. still starving today. Those hey, much when you see those uh those uh infomercials about starving children in Africa, those are those hamites that don't they know. How to like with the big ass belly the <laughs> with flies around. <laughs> Our people is the form of all things, man. We had all the ideas. All right, Jake. That was Jake's, man. Give me Daniel. Give me Daniel. What? Hey, it's a script. Daniel, it's a script. Daniel, one. Of the it's very, yeah. Man, it's scary. Daniel, what? Yep. That went us. It went us, bro. Hey, if I could say real quick in the movie, The Mummy, you had the one guy when Emotep first came back alive and was coming and he looked like a mummy and he had a bunch of necklaces with different religious symbols on. He was talking in different language to talk to him. And he pulled up the star of David and started speaking Hebrew. And, and Emotep stopped and was like, the language of the the language of the slaves, you can yep. be of use to me. Yeah, the heathen. Think about this. The king, the king that was ruling over us, that had us in oppression, came, got one of us out of the people to give him ideas on what to do, man. Come on. That means the kingdom was ran by an Israelite man. Meaning saying he got all his thoughts and ideas from him. But this is the people who was oppressing us, man. 
As they know in the spirit, we we supposed to rule. We supposed to rule. That's why they gotta get an Israelite man. Every kingdom, they got an Israelite man up high somewhere. Damn. What you think? What you think? Uh, Christopher Columbus did. He got Hebrew interpreter. Huh. He got uh people. He's like uh, another guy. I think his name was Tiberius. Uh. Caesar he's, Tiberius, uh, Alexander Tiberius Caesar or something. Yeah. Oh, the fucking guy that he was a Jake that the Roman Empire used to take down Jake. They take, take down Jake. Take, take, yeah. Hey, yeah. today, look, look who they got to convince the UN to look who they sent to the UN to con convince them to go to war against Iraq. Colin Powell, because right. <laughs> he had a good reputation Crazy, and he yeah. was high up in 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 Bush's cabinet. Dick Cheney he's said to him. Dick, Dick Cheney said to him, "Well, Colin." You can afford to lose a, a few popularity points. <laughs> I'll take the fall for this. Just like uh, Emotab or Joseph. Joseph was, I think that the the, the, the pharaoh at that time was named Dozar the second, if I'm not mistaken. Those Dozar is, is D O S E R second, and Joseph was second in command of them, man. You know? and Joseph, like I said, Joseph laid out the medicine, the herbs. He was the architect. Was, they turned him into a god, pretty much. <laughs> Worship him, man. Yeah, he was all. I wish I could show you how after this. Uh, you know, a, a pitch up and everything like that. You know, go ahead. Huh? He was. He was over. He was over the the king servants. Like it was the king, then bang. I mean, uh, Joseph, man. So like, so you got to think about that. Joseph people was in captivity, man, under the king, man. And he was second in command. Like once they come from the king, it go to Joseph, man. From you know, you got it. And the order, they had an order that was made. Or the command, yeah. I was say earlier, over time, those different pharaohs came in about, so they forgot. Forgot, yeah. The same thing happened. The same thing uh, happened in the time of the uh, the Persians. I forgot the, the particular Persian that died. The father died, and then when the son came into power, he really didn't want to. He really didn't want to, you know, it was a friction about Israel and their cussing. Yeah. So he went, he went back and checked the, he went back and checked the, uh, the records. Oh yeah, my, my father, my, my father so let the Israelite worship. Okay, y'all can worship, y'all can worship your power, man. No? Scally, it's kind of escaping right now the guy named though, man. Y'all brought it. Yeah, that yeah, one of the dairies. One of the dairies, yeah, but it's, yeah. dang, that's, you know, that one number the title. Damn, the first episode. Hey, was Cyrus that gave the order, and Cyrus died, and then when Darius the first came, I I have to look it up. It kind of escaped me right now, you know. Yeah, there's just so much information in here. Hey, bro, so what you? If you ain't, you gotta be all on it sometimes, you know. You gotta be, you gotta kind of keep doing it. You, you know, you'll be good. Yeah, I, I just turned into on to it. I think. Yeah, he. If he if he write that by it's been done, yeah. Let's see. I know it said this. This is it. This is it. I now I don't know the numbers, but this is what it says. This is a uh, first Ezra six and twenty two. Well, I'll start at twenty one. Now, therefore, if it seem good unto the king, let search be made among the records of King Cyrus, and if it be found that the building of the house of the Lord at Jerusalem hath been done with the consent of King Cyrus. And if yeah, our Lord the King be so minded, let him signify unto us thereof. Then commanded King Darius to seek among the records in, at Babylon. And so at Ecbatana, the palace, which is in the country of Medea, there was found a roll wherein these things were recorded. Yeah. There you go. Got a, we, they don't want Jake, you know, us to worship, man. Right? Uh, or build a temple up, man. Yeah, like, man, tear that down. Like, nah, you the king for you. He, he let us do it, man. Hey, Achior the Ammonite knew he said to Judas, if they call upon their power, then be made a shame before yeah. the nations and won't be able to go against it. Yeah, Judas five. What it say? Sam and Pharaoh uh, are in Egypt, man. Huh? Sam and Egypt, he was like, uh, let us not. Let us not let them reproduce for they overtake they, us. They overtake us, man. That's why the, down the line of pharaohs that come, they like, man, look, we don't care a Joseph and who all that was before. I'm like, man, look, we about to do this now. My daddy dead. I'm on a, you know, which, which you know, you get different. Because draw from different kings. Because Jake, not only was Jake multiplying in Egypt, but Jake 
from that reputation they had from Joseph, Jacob was getting into positions of power and making a real difference. So they and what they say, let's kill off the males, not the women, because they that's that's where the line comes. Duck the way to reproduce. Go ahead, you about to say something? Uh, huh? I got that Daniel. Yeah, you got the Daniel right there. Go ahead. This is the book of Daniel. Daniel. This is the book of Daniel, chapter one, verse four. Children in whom was no blemish, yep. but well favored. Well favored. And, and who put that well? Let's get this right. It wasn't nothing Daniel did. All right. The reason why he was well favored, because he had to go according to prophecy as well. So let's make sure we acknowledge him what the Lord did to make, make him well favored, man. All right. Because Daniel couldn't put himself in position in these promises, man. All these different men who were second in command and different things like that. That was the spirit of the Lord working on the king, as it says in uh, Proverbs 21 and 1, man. That he got the king's minds like the rivers of water to make our people in those positions. That prophecy may be fulfilled at the end of the day, man. Uh, Go ahead. Let me start at verse 3. Go ahead. It says, and the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, certain. I write certain ones. Go ahead. And of the king's seed and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, uh -huh. but well favored, yep. and skilled in all wisdom, yep. and cunning in knowledge. Right, cunning in knowledge, man. All right. Go ahead. And understanding science. Understanding science, man. And that's knowledge. Understanding the knowledge that they was given uh, when Daniel was given certain um, uh Visions from the Lord to understand things, man. Uh, All right, science is knowledge. It means just to know what your what the wisdom, and then the how apply it, how to apply it, man. Great. And if I could, I could understand. He was the only one that can understand the visions that uh, Nebuchadnezzar got, man. Uh, Go ahead, bro. If I could say, and that was an ancient custom to like when he took over a nation, you would take the sons of the kings and and uh take them as hostages or sometimes build them up like in that case huh? i remember there was a movie called the, the war of the three kingdoms which took place in like thailand or one of those countries and it was in ancient times and the king one king took over another kingdom and he said look i'll have peace with you but give me your son the prince and he took his son the prince and ended up loving his son the prince more than his own son because yeah. his own son had a more cunning mind uh, yeah. and raised him up and wanted him to be the the king after he died and his own son was like a fool he was a hot-headed just yeah. he was a petulant child and as you know i work yeah, yeah. today what you see about the who got the biggest cloud and money and stuff like that back then it was all about the wisdom right yeah. you know, it's a, like the bird say different kings back then it was about gathering, gathering knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But even an example of that was with the with the uh, Ptolemy, man. The Ptolemy took down nations, what they did. They set up a damn a whole goddamn library. Open yeah. information. Guess what? Back at that time, all the all of the big the big wings of wanting to know knowledge and gaining knowledge was, was there in that in that region of Alexandria. Uh, Alexandria. Man. All of the, the top guys, man. Because you had all that. He had a basically the library like a vault of information. Yeah, all the who, war tactics, spices, and scientific knowledge, huh? Records, history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. history. Yep. 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 Yeah, the records. And that's what, like I said, that's why all you know everybody go to the, the wars and come summon down for a fucking life. Well, that's how it was for those men back then. You know, and rightfully so. That's what the, the nations, the, the kings, the men was into, man. They were warriors, philosophers, like artists. Like a king, yeah. a king, yeah. a king wasn't just sitting on the throne all day getting head, getting his toes cur curling his curling his toes. It was actually yeah. in, in, in business. knowledge, yeah. ruling, everything. Yeah. You gotta be groomed. In order to be a king, you gotta be groomed with intelligence, ge ge geographical. You gotta know how to speak different languages, all right? That's that's orders. That's orders. In other words, you wanna have men dealing with you as such. King James was on the throne, had to get groomed. Go ahead. That's why the, the, the king of these times, they know what's up. They know what's up for the, the most high the knowledge. But what they do, they give the people, they give the people bread and certain bullshit. They got a, they got a saying by uh Aristotle. They said, he who controls the image controls the mind. They get you, they get the youth and the people out here, an image of bullshit, 
which controls him. Hey, and Alex and Aristotle was Alexander's teacher. He taught he's the one that taught him because Aristotle was a J. He taught him the Hebrew. That's how he was able to go and the priest showed him this is you, you're the he goes in Hebrew because he would read it. Yeah. yeah. He was taught in mathematics, different languages, a whole broke back up a nail, bro. A whole host of different knowledge, uh, a whole host of different uh teachings and subjects. To become a much more well-rounded king. You can't trust a nigga with goddamn hot fries in his fucking head. It's not for some cheese. Cheese, you know, it's not for you, my man. Burger and dreams. Fucking thick ass glasses, man. Go ahead. It's not for you, man. Looking like an old Mac head. It's king language right here, man. When you don't want you niggas, yeah. Man. Cousins, cousins don't be in the king chamber, man. It's king it's language, man. You that nigga don't want to know about Aristotle? <laughs> yeah, you gotta show yourself. And when you're in this thing, all right, as I told, you know, told the young lion, that nigga want to himself in this thing, man. He's still working right. his foot, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kingdom minded. We on king time, man. We getting our, our minds groomed. Even when you learn the scriptures, your mind is being groomed to be kings, man. And hey, look at you this. You understand that. This ain't no fucking game, man. We, we, we don't. We're, we're conversing on our own knowledge of uh, both, both the knowledge. That's why that's why we come the way we come it, man. Yeah. Hey, I look at the place where behind us, the jewelry store, the real jewels and gold and and, and yeah. is it real? No, not real. He's thinking of that earlier. He's thinking the same thing. You're getting fit to rule on the throne, and to get in order to rule on the throne, you must sit on that throne and win them. Yeah. All right, the thrones of righteousness and wisdom and judgment, equity. All right, understanding, knowledge, man. You can, you can throw a whole kingdom off course. It's all one bush, one mistake. One mistake, bro. One foul, the foul thought. They That's show. why it's a lot. Go ahead. They show you that in that show, Game of Thrones. King Joffrey, he was a psychopath, and he killed he killed a uh, Ned Stark, who was the 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 Lord of the North, and when he did that. Ned Stark's son went to war against him. So by him not giving his his father pardon and killing him because he was hot headed, the whole northern realm came to war yeah. and almost overtook the southern realm. Yeah. Chaos, confusion start, man. See, that's why in the kingdom of heaven we gonna be. It made me think about it. It's like when you, it's like when you go through the the different after after you get you first get into Rome, the Roman knowledge, you will find out. Them, them Romans and them Greeks, when the Romans were killing each other back to back to back. And what was the one? One of them, he killed, he killed his damn soldiers. The soldiers killed him because they didn't agree with him and shit. I forgot the guy's name. King? You talking to Rome? Galba? Because I think Galba, I know Galba, a lot of them Roman emperors around that time were giving out tributes and money and shit, but he was running drills on them and shit. So they, and he's like, I'm not giving you these tributes that the previous guy said he would give you. So that created that mutinous spirit for the next guy, also to knock him off. It was just, it was knocking each other off. Uh -huh. Like I said, that whole, like this brother's going into one bad, one bad ruler, you can throw everything the fuck off. Right? Uh -huh. Look at something in balance. If you know, you had something, you had something, right? Uh -huh. So, right, certain verse six, she not to be a judge, being not able to take away iniquity. Lest any time thou fear the person of the mighty and a stumbling block in the way of thy uprightness. Again, read it again. Uh, so Rock 7, verse 6. Seek not to be a judge, being not able to take away iniquity. Any time thou fear the person of the mighty and a stumbling block in the way of the of thy uprightness. That's the point, man. All right. You ain't supposed to put no uh a king. He's supposed to scatter all evil with his eyes. There should be no iniquity before a strong, man. The first guy is going to bring out. Okay. And, and, and if you, yeah, man, uh, iniquity should have no fellowship with righteousness at the end of the day. So when you're on the throne, that's why when the laws and stuff is in our inward part, there's no way to get us off the throne because we're going to do everything and execute in all righteousness, man. All right? You feel That was it? Yeah. You found it? Uh, yeah, that's no fear. Read that again. One more time. All right, all right, come on, you can get after that. All right. 
where it says king scattered all wickedness with his eyes, which which is his mind. Go ahead. Right, seven verse six. Seem not to be a judge, being not able to take away iniquity. Yeah. That's any time thou fit. Even when you're a judge, you gotta be able to take away iniquity. Remember when Solomon was on the throne? This is an uh, analogy. When the woman came up and said, This my child, the other one said, That's my child. Get <laughs> the water. Yeah, yeah, we're waiting to get it. What's up, bro? You got a question? Or are you just listening? You got something? All right. Praise God. Praise, bro. You followed it? Yeah. All right, finish up. Lest any time thou fear, person of the mighty. Go ahead. And a stumbling block in the way of thy uprightness. Yeah, don't again, don't let wickedness be a stumbling block in the way of your uprightness, because it says, uh, bring before righteousness before the throne. Bring bring righteousness before the king, and then the throne shall be established. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. The water. Uh, I got a little spirit right there with that one, bro. Uh that should be in the same. You found it? Read it. It should be in that same chapter. You found it? You got what you got? Go ahead, bring that out for the elder. Hold that down. It's good. It's a precept. Pray. Right. This first Kings chapter three. Anyway, right there, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. This Kings chapter three, verse 16. Then came there two women that were harlots. Yeah. Those Unto the king, harlots. <laughs> and the one woman said, Oh, my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. Uh -huh. And I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. And there was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. So just them two alone, they were both pregnant for us. Yeah. It says, And this woman's child died in the night. Because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thy handmaid slept and laid in it her and laid in it her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give suck to my child, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living son is mine. And the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. So they're arguing back and forth. Like, oh, whose son is it? No, that's my son. son. Yeah, somebody lying. It can't be both of them. You know, brother, bringing this out to show you an example of a righteous judgment. That's good. Yeah. It's King Solomon. They're going to bring them priests up. So I'll back that up. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Thus they spake before the king. 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 Yeah. Thus they spake the king. Yeah. Thus they spake before the king. Yeah. Thus they spake before the king. Yeah. Thus they spake before the king. This is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to the one and half to the other. Uh, so the king told his servants to basically cut the child that's living in hell. Give one to one and give one to the other. That's just selling it, right? It's now go ahead. Reason, it's for a reason. For a reason. He's gonna do it, but it's for a reason. Though. So that King King Solomon said, "Cut the child in half." And since we can't figure out who child it is, if you give one side the other side, they should be it should be good, right? Let's go back. Right. Let's go back. Solomon did a Solomon did a story for all women. He said basically, there's not none none righteous kind kind. A thousand women, he could find none of them right. Like, was a, one of the most wisest men there were. So you best believe so. the emotions of women. Right. They say, you know what? Right. Couldn't put him in hell. It's gonna strike emotion in the one. And one of them, it ain't fun. Or it can't be fun. Yeah. Right. He understood, he understood the women. He understood. Yeah, that's all about the head. He understood women, man. Yeah. So, verse 26 this spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son her emotions, her emotions. he understood because the woman it, that might be too so hard is right he's on real job again he's been blooming shopping all day man it might be the two that might be a real card you know the lord got a sense of evil for going bro <laughs> Let's take the word. 
That's not right there, huh? Yeah, that that'll be there. If they look at they look in the pack of papers, they look to reincarnate those two two children. That's that. Right. You're looking for a microwave blessing. You ain't gonna get it over there. They're about to get that. We own you. Oh, you throw it off and have fucking shorts on. That's cold as a yeah. monkey. Oh, that's definitely them. That's the two. That can before sound. That's the spirit, bro. No way, too. That's them, my good. <laughs> Hell yeah, you damn right. We're shopping all day. Just trying to see what we're doing. But they walked this time and perfectly while we read the precept. Can't make that up. Just want us to do it. That's good. Yep, they were together, yeah. And no one, nobody was with them. No stranger was with them. Go ahead. You got it. It says, Then spake the woman whose living child was unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son. Yep. And she said, Oh, my Lord, give her the living child. Yeah. And in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Yeah. So one woman said, Yeah, cut the child in half and give us each one. That can't be your child. The one who child was for saying, Look. Whatever you do, leave the child alive, and it could go to anybody as long as you leave it alive. That's the child. And Solomon, like, look, that's the child. What are he gonna say? King Solomon said it. Then, give the child to who? He gonna tell you who he gave the child to. Go ahead. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. Right, through wisdom. See what equity do? Equity make you deal in fairness. All right. But again, the fairness was that. It was the, the woman child who said, whatever you do, don't kill the child. But you know, a, a, a woman going to love her child over everything. Yeah. Even if she can't retain him no more, she'll be like, just leave him alive. One day I probably can reunite with him or get, you know, they have, because that's how the women are pretty much slaves to the children. So they're going to do anything to keep the children alive, right? You know? So that's how Solomon knew. Like, I know women. The child is for her. Because the other girl said, cut the child out. Yeah. That ain't your child. That's really her child. She ain't going to do nothing. She ain't going to do nothing to, to harm the child. It comes with, I know where it comes with, a car to hit a woman, a woman child. And she picked that bitch up, all right? I read that same, uh, that same account. Kill her child, hell no. It's time. It's time. using equity and no balance, man. That's right. I'm going to give that space to I was going to say, verse 28. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged. And they feared the king, for they saw that wisdom of Yahweh was with him to do judgment. To do judgment. Again, righteousness is nothing but judgment. Righteous judgment. That's how you execute righteousness, man. That's how we do. We all day, we're judges. Like, that's why a spiritual man is judging all things, right? But he's judging it according to the righteousness of it. Like, what can I, any decisions to make, what's the righteous way to do it? It's judgment. When you're a king, like mindset of a uh, 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 stand, it's all about judgment, bro. All right? And you got to be prepared to do judgment. You got to know how to do it. You got it? All right? It's, uh, because the king gives out the, the call. Once the king calls the call, it's, 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 you know? Yeah, hey, that's it. That's it. Come on, we own it. Go ahead. As a uh, Psalms 99, verse 4. The king's strength also loveth judgment. The king's what? The king's strength also loveth judgment. The king's strength loveth judgment, man. All right, go ahead. The strength lies in the king. The king took me. He, he, he's the over. He called That's him. Yeah. I think that the elder asked you. But you heard come from a puzzle to her. He was like, who, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. who, uh, Who's more powerful? Or powerful? Yeah, he said, who's more powerful? Yeah. And one would look at that like, it got to be the prophet, all right? But the king got the last word, man. It said, where the king's word, there's power. And it, not, of course, the prophet is the one dealing through the Lord to the king. The king is working with the Lord, but he still can make a particular decision that's predicated on his own mindset, all right? So really, he got the last word, if one would say. The Lord can make a king disobey the prophet. Disobey the prophet. Israel go off and judge There you go, man. Go ahead. Thou, thou does establish equity. Thou execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Right. He do it in Jacob, though. That's why I set thrones of David. All right. Which David is, is, 
on the line of Jacob, man. All right, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It says that equity and righteousness. Read that again. Come on, man. You can't get. You can't make this stuff. This the scriptures up, man. Go ahead. Man. All right, come. On. We uh, we'll get two more down there, and hey, you know, the brothers get what they got, and that's good. Go ahead. All right, Psalm nine nine verse four. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Yep. Thou doest establish iniquity. Oh, equity. Thou execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Yeah. The king established equity, man. All right. And that's what we're going to do from eon to eon to eon. And that's why we're going to never get off the throne, man. Good. If we scatter in evil, bring it out. Right? Bring it out. The king that sent it in the throne. Turn around, I get a king. We got you. Verse 28. A king that sent it in the throne of judgment. Yeah. All evil with his eyes. A king that sit in the throne of judgment, and the king's strength is in judgment. That's and I'm throwing out of right to we those men, all right? Because occupying the throne ain't a, it's not about having a hundred concubines, all right? Or just you know getting up and muscle. muscle. You got the best Texan looking garment on. It's the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? You kind of think it's small minded when you think of. Being a king on the throne, you thinking of what you're going to all have, all right? No, you got to think about the judgment you're going to execute, the dominion, the way you're going to carry out and execute righteousness throughout the earth, all right? The way you're going to keep the world, the, the, the elements, you know, different things in order and intact, man. How people going to live, all right? You All this falls under the guidelines of the king, man. Because the king, uh, the king is more worried about the government of, of the <laughs> Uh, the kingdom, man. It's well, it's well ordered. The king of you, you got the most thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sirach chapter 10, verse 1. Yep. A wise judge will instruct his people, yep. and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Because when you go and break down the word kingdom, it's the domain of the king. Again, if that king make one bad decision, he can die, the whole kingdom can fall off and die, man. So everything is predicated on that man. That's why it's called the what? A king. Kingdom. Go ahead. Like, there was a, I forgot which one it was, but it was the movie, uh, uh, Planet of the Apes is the one with Caesar. And Caesar was telling that guy, Kobo, he was like, look, if we do this one thing, it can cause many other apes to get killed, man. And a lot of times with the movie, you'll see, or watching that fucking weirdo right there. Well, so. A lot of, lot of movies with the kings, you'll see the king say, oh, we're down certain men. We can't go at war right now, man. So because it's predicated on the judgment that you that you call and rule, man. No? He made, he made the point in that. Like yeah. church, we don't end it with church. Go ahead. Wait. Hold on. Here we go. Guys, he got the one kind of one I'm looking for. Wait, right, so for this, it should be a problem. Yeah. I think that was Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Y'all know. I think it was Dawn of the yeah, yeah, Planet yeah. of the Apes. I gotta go back and watch them. It's so good, bro. You could be, you could be a king that you could be outnumbered at war. You could be outnumbered at war. Go to war, but king, really king. Yeah. Or then you can call the women and children. Yeah, yeah. you gotta stand yeah. down. Yeah. That's where it comes into not just being a warrior, but a diplomat. Yeah. Diplomat, yep. Yeah. Yeah, you be a master. You being a master and negotiate, man. That's a king too. And you don't negotiate. Uh, one thing about a king too, he don't deal with emotions. Uh. It's no factor. He factor in all the factors of everything. And emotion is nowhere in the equation. Uh. If it was, it was who it was. Solomon with his mother. It was a. Uh, it's a situation where one of the kings was on the throne, it was, and it was uh, someone with his mother. Was, uh, what is? Talking about when the kingdom split, it kind of yeah. One of them listened to their mom or something like that from being king. If it was Theobald listened to his friends instead of his count instead of the count, oh, that's the awesome. Counsel. And again, a king also have uh men, you know, right next to him and you know on his left hand who also put in the word. But again, it's it's about the king. But here, get confirmation or something from them brothers to add in. If you don't have a whole thought or whatever, like which we do, we do, you know. So that's in a kingly fashion, man. We do that. 
I advise you, brothers, and bosses. Yeah. But I advise you, brothers, if y'all never seen the movie uh Godfather, then watch the Godfather, man. Huh. As as you, you can't be a man of emotion because because you even seen at one point the Godfather, his son get killed at the Sunday. Son got killed at the uh the toll booth. Then in the next scene, he's sitting down with the men that killed his son. Yeah. <laughs> How we gonna handle this, man? Yeah. What we gonna do? You know, and you. Our time with being in that position, you wait, you wait for the perfect time to jump on to jump on your enemy, man. It's about it's about the move. It's, this is all about chess. Yeah. Yeah, check. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down Good. there on, man. Yeah. You will be getting your ass beat in chess. No, I'm talking taking a brutal ass with and checkmate him. And they, they get looking real glad and dim and it checkmate him, man. And that's that's a key game. It was created for two kinkies who had the same amount of power and try to like, all uh, right. It was all about mental because the muscle was even. What you gonna do if you battle somebody the same height, speed, skill? Uh, instead of you, how you beat them then? <laughs> what you gonna do? Bring them out. I'm small. I'll win them. A lot of Bone heads that don't know boxing, they hate that guy Floyd because they think he's supposed to just get out like Leonard on law. Yeah. All we do is run. He beats, <laughs> you know, Floyd talks shit. He beat a nigga up before you. Come. Mama. He's a woman, all type of stupid shit. Yeah. But mentally, before you get in the ring, then you get in the ring, I'm going to fight your fight, and I'm not going to fight you. I'm playing possum with you. I'm going to do all type of shit. And beat you up here. Then you see niggas get frustrated. They want to head fucking things. <laughs> yeah, cheap guy. Cheap guy, man. Hey, they say he won. Huh? It's strategic. That's why it's called generals that deal with it. It's all strategy. And they say Floyd won't run. But last I checked, that ring is a box. You can't, he ain't never jump out the ring. What do you do, too? <laughs> I'm going to that box. A lot of things people don't know about the and other boxing. It's a it's a certain reason why Floyd wanted wanted the eight pound or ten pound uh, eight ounce pound uh, ring size the biggest ring, ring size <laughs> ten. Uh. If you get the biggest ring, it's like I'm always in the middle with you. Yeah, because you can't you can't deal with, you can't deal with me on the road to death. You can't yeah. deal with me in speech. Yeah. You know those guys the smallest ring because you get on the on the road to death. and you can lock on. You're gonna be in the middle. You on the A side, you call the shots. Call the shots, yeah. That's Israel, the A side. And that's your advantage. Yeah. It's all about advantage. It's all about leverage and anything you're doing. Even out here, when we dealing through, through the spirit, the elders always teach us, get the leverage. Then your playing field. You're supposed to be able to do this around them, man. Right. They don't know the scriptures like you know. All right? You can allow them to think that they're coming into something. You're giving away from the... He about to he you about to go to this and go to this get this get this he already gone there it's setting them up man all right for the what the kill shot to show you you in our arena this our arena but this is the lord's arena ultimately so we're not taking a you know like oh, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. we dwell in the tabernacle race that's right so we when we in that arena we control the elements of the arena okay that's it yeah think you doing something i'm gonna turn the lights off in this for real yeah. Now what? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I control it. Yeah. Yeah. You know where a motherfucker going at before he even, he even open his mouth. No? Nah, so that comes from the spirit, right? Send, send out the lines. Send the lines out. Yeah. I think in the Art of War by Sun Tzu, it says one of the tactics is pick the battle, pick the battleground where you want them to fight you. Like, don't let yeah. them pick the battle. You pick where you want them to come to you. I don't really want. Like the side, we were going back to brought the movie three hundred. Like oh. they picked the, where the battle was going to take place. They, <laughs> so they won, yeah. Ten thousand troops. We got this little ass narrow place yeah. right here. So the numbers account for nothing. No matter, yeah. They, they, had funnel, they had to funnel. They had to funnel in. Hey, Jake understood that. Hey, man, Manassa, it's a call. Them guys, we had to understand. Oh, 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 that's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, a riddle book too. And the seasons when to go. Jay even knew the good seasons to read the time. It's going to go now. Yeah. You know, for our enemies, like they're not, 
they not they ain't they ain't well set in the cold or something like that you know yeah that's what he's saying he's saw, he saw, he saw, yeah he saw a way for the sabbath and come attack and come attack him. <laughs> and june the back of me said we gonna fight on the sabbath man huh. Stand us. Huh. well we won't break the law where they using the law against us <laughs> you know yeah that's all what that's a general which is a one he's it's all strategic at the end of the day all right go ahead it's a proverbs 25 and 5 take away the wicked from before the king take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness right take away the wickedness before the king and his throne shall be set in righteousness man and that's what we're doing we're warding off rehearsing the righteous act that we may be righteous forevermore that's why we slipping now because it's practice because in the kingdom of heaven we ain't gonna have to practice no more it's gonna be set in stone man it's gonna be set in our thrones all right righteousness gonna be oozing off the 144,000 men man double all garments. right double garments of righteousness man you ain't gonna be able to miss that John, I got one. You got one? Yeah. Get that and then we'll keep. Go ahead. Set down. Go ahead, I. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just let find it, I. Go ahead. This is Wisdom of Solomon 6. I'm going to start at 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. The desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. The main thing, wisdom, understanding what wisdom is. That's knowledge applied. All right? So you can know a whole lot of stuff but if you don't know how to apply it, then you don't you're not a wise man all right a wise man uh eyes is in his head meaning his mind knows how to bring forth the decisions he need to make which we did at the video yeah. video too just watch right? that you gotta watch that that's that's a kingly mindset we just bought scriptures out the print. all right that's it go ahead verse 21 if your delight be then in thrones and scepters yep. O ye king of the people, yeah. honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. So wisdom is going to allow us to reign forevermore. What wisdom? The law, statutes, and commandments is going to be instilled in our insides, man. It don't, it don't get more righteous than that. How smoke is say it just it can't get no right. He said this is right. It can't get no right. If if even right is a word, man. All right, it don't get no righter than what we gonna be in the kingdom of heaven, man. Oh, man, she said, my coat, man. What he, said? Yeah, he said, yeah, the old boy asked him, what are the three best things in life? He said, to, to crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations or the crying of their women. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> that's going to be, that's what wisdom going to do. The wisdom is going to honor. That's why the kingdom, that's why we seek the kingdom of heaven, because that's where the men who worked over there, that's where they're going to get their honor. That's why we don't. No type of honor. Don't try to get a name or nothing here, because it's all about the kingdom of heaven. And when you settle on that, that's a kingly mindset. You're thinking what? You're at a stroke there is in the heavens, all right? And the heavens is going to be on earth, contrary to popular belief. Hey. John saw the kingdom of heaven coming what? Down, baby. It's coming down, baby. Hey. Okay. Conan gave you the king answer. The first guy he asked was was thinking like a guy who just wants to sit on the throne getting head all day. He was like. A falcon on your arm and the wind in your hair. <laughs> 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 you wrong, man. He coming up, coming, coming to camp. I said, man, you got jinx and think like that. Oh, I got, I got, I got a, I got a, uh, I said, I got, a, I got a Indian woman. I got an exotic Jake. You hear these niggas in the world? I got an exotic woman. This ain't nothing like a uh, woman from another nation. Nah, it's, for real. it's still a woman. And I mean, shit, once you hit her, you got the that's the, the majority of the issue right there. You got trash open. That's it. Uh, but, but some Jake's out here, they hit them, they hit them, and it's like every time when they lost their virginity, like every time's like the first time it's <laughs> Like once you pop the treasures, you got access to all the jewels in the store. Once you open the vault, and you in the head. You take, with, you take whatever, you do whatever you want from that, man. The shit becomes, it, it, be, it shouldn't be glorified anymore, right? But Jacob glorified the shit, and though, yeah, you've been a- I think I'm peace out. Hey, yeah, hey. Peace out. Which one, which one of the I people? I got peace out of death. Oh. <laughs> 
gave a lot to God. And so it's Paul that he was uh built from God alive because he he said and he had real hell and then um uh, and then that girl started laughing and then that girl started laughing and running down the path so because I know that that boy I'm trying to get on up out of here read that go ahead on get up out of here you love Esau go ahead get on out of here you love Esau you gonna perish with him you gonna perish with him go ahead yeah you pointed that red you love that red hole and revelation. <laughs> oh, that nigga has Sam coming from him. <laughs> it's a very thing of trusting horses and servants, and he's not that right now. Yeah, ride that road. He's the chief. That's not the chief. Go ahead. That's blood. Hey, go ahead, bro. Get out of here, man. It's about that time. Yeah, great, great. Hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way. I presume. <laughs> Let's get it in the coat, baby. All right, Psalms 122, verse 5. But huh. there is there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. So it's set thrones of judgment. Over oh, here. It's set thrones. You on? Set thrones of judgment, the house of David, which the house of David that sure mercies, man. And the Lord mercy endure for what? And do it for what? And so we said, we're on the throne. After, after we take it, start with Yahweh shot. All right. And then what? Us helping, assisting, but it's going to be him bringing it down. All right. We're going to rule forever and ever and ever. And then the law, and even ever. And then the law of mercy going to last forever for the show mercies of David, the house of David. You can't get around that. King shit, man. Ever, ever. Forever, ever. 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 Yeah. So in that order, you know, Abu Rakazai, that was edifying, man. So with that, we're gonna give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. The apostles, the great millstone, and started taking to the ark with the pushing the truth and sincerity. And so the next time we're gonna say Shalom. Shalom. A Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. Quam Yashala. Come, yes, y'all up. Come, yes, y'all up. Come, y'all up.